guess I'm just going to use this crooked uh, fuel canister. Just kind of jam down one side in the sand and call it a day. Yeah. Hopefully I don't die. Well, it's not going to explode. It'll just create a, uh, a jet of fire and leak. So you're good. Perfect. No worries at all. a little warm. Well, good morning. Morning of day two. We uh, had a so far, I had a pretty relaxing morning. We intentionally didn't uh, didn't wake up early and get going because we don't have very far to go today. <clears throat> but uh, just sitting here enjoying this beautiful morning, just kind of enjoying this, the peace. Had a slightly eventful evening. <clears throat> Usually, when you hang your food up in a tree. Just to keep it away from squirrels or raccoons or bears, depending on where you are. But uh, we just learned of a new animal that you have to be aware of. That's foxes. We had a group of foxes uh, smell our food and uh, they just would not shut up last night. Uh, so excited about trying to get to our food. Fortunately, it's high enough that they couldn't get to it. But that did not stop them from making all kinds of racket last night. And they just would not go away. I almost got out of bed just to scare them away, but um, Joe started like clearing his throat, trying to like make some noise. They weren't phased by it, but they eventually went away. But other than that, it was a peaceful evening. Some cool uh, owls and whatnot. The uh, the length of this trip hasn't really set in. Um, like I think about how far we have to go. I mean, we've got a, we've got a ways to go. Even though we did a, a fair amount yesterday, I mean, we still got 100 and 140 miles to go. But it really hasn't sunk in. Um, you know, just taking it day to day. But just enjoying it. <sighs> Good times. All right, just about packed up. It turned into an absolutely perfect day. Looking forward to being out on the river. Doing our last final check to make sure there's no uh, droppings of gear and whatnot. I think we're ready. Good times. Day two has begun. Very, very good times.
<laughs> so Joe's hat apparently loves the water because uh, he uh, the wind blew it off twice. Well, it blew it off his head once, uh, and then he'd hooked it to the front of his boat to uh, dry, and the wind blew it into the water while it was clipped in, and then he just uh, lost it one more time. The good news is um, initial uh, initial research indicates that the the hat is actually uh, buoyant enough to float, so it's not sinking when it goes in. But the things you learn on these trips, but. I've got the same kind of hat, and I, I put my chin strap on yesterday, and I lost a few cool points, and uh, I think, oh, he's going to use, he's going to use uh, hat number two. He's, he's too cool, school, too cool for school with the uh, chin strap, but just a gorgeous day. We're kind of taking it easy. Just passed a uh, ferry bridge ramp uh, a little bit ago, and uh, just enjoying the day, floating down the river. Good times. We could totally take that. Well, we are moving right along, passing the uh, fork Duke power plant. And uh, the Mountain Sea Trail guide says that it is that little channel which cuts off a few miles of the river. Not recommended for uh, paddling. So we'll take the long way. Taking it all in. I gave up on shoes. <laughs> yes, You're welcome you to pull up a, a, a gunnel if you want. I'm not going down there. Just around, or just about made it around uh, the Duke power plant. And uh, I wasn't sure what to expect from that section because if you look at it from uh, like imagery, the, the power plant itself looks awful. It looks like this big eyesore. But um, the river around it is actually surprisingly pretty. You can still kind of see. Like over to the right, you can still see the power plant, but it's still, you know, maybe 100 yards worth of trees. And so you still know it's there, but it feels a little more isolated. But it's still, the river's still very pretty around it. So as long as you don't think about what's to your right, um, it can be, it's nice. But, uh, just about to our next landmark, which is the Stevens Mill Bridge. And then another five miles to the park. And then we'll be done for the day. The river has uh, widened out, not a lot, but just enough that the current has dropped noticeably. There's still plenty of current, thanks to uh, all this rain we've been having. But the river's not helping us as much as it was yesterday. That's okay. Still beautiful. Still good. All right. Well, we just passed our last landmark for the day, but uh, made our left turn. Uh, it takes us. Oh, 
uh, winds around a, a ATV park of all things. Uh, and then uh, in a few miles we'll hit uh, Old Waynesboro Park. And that'll be the end of our paddle for today. But just kind of easing on down. It's, uh, it's 3.30 now, so mile marker says it should be about a little under five miles to the to the park, so should be there in no time. Good time. Well, uh, we made it through day two, and uh, I'm very glad that we did the mileage that we did yesterday, yesterday, because today had a small amount of suck factor at the end. Um, I questioned some of the mileage markers that, uh, that, are, that are out there for floating around the internet for this river, so I'll have to go back and measure and see. Because it felt like, felt like it should have been longer. So like Stevens Mill Bridge to the fork, the, where we turned left to go up, come up here to Old Waynesboro Park. Um, felt like there was maybe some extra mileage in there. But anyways, didn't do a whole lot of filming once we got up here. Um, got set up and, and uh, whatnot. <clears throat> but uh, we're camping in uh, Old Waynesboro Park, which is in Goldsboro, North Carolina. We have uh, special permission from the staff here who are very gracious enough to let us camp here um, since we're uh, paddling uh, the Noose River as part of the Mountains of Sea Trail. So i um, got permission to camp here. So uh, we're just doing some we're practicing our very best uh, Leave No Trace uh, campsite. You can see today we have learned from our mistakes. We, we did it yesterday too. but. Um, from our uh, from our Cape Fear trip, where we almost lost our kayaks, we were both securely fastened to something solid. Oh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Um, the tentative plan is uh, we're going to paddle to uh, Seven Springs, the town of Seven Springs, which is right there on the Noose River, uh, and then which is 26 and a half miles from where we are right now. So that's a full day for sure but not something that we can't do. We did 30 something miles yesterday, so I think it's doable, but we're gonna have to, we won't be able to dawdle like we did this morning, tomorrow. But, uh, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to bring up. So, Joe's got his, uh, his fancy uh, fuel. It's all the same stuff, it's this isobutane fuel. But yesterday I was, I was heating my, my dinner up and I was like, why is my pot not level? And I'm, I thought it was the ground. No, it's, it's my fuel canister. For whatever reason, my fuel canister, the nozzle, so the, the, the nozzle right now is straight, but then if I were to put this on a flat surface, it's now wampa jaw. And uh, <clears throat> so I did not notice that when I bought it, but so far it has not exploded into my face, which is good. Um, but I guess I'll use it. It's just kind of a pain. I've just never seen that. Um, uh, it's from Coleman. Come on, Coleman. I expect better from Coleman. But anyway, so I think we'll uh, finish up dinner. No fire tonight. And uh, probably go to bed relatively early. But yeah, so far so good. It's a good trip. Good times. Ugh. Pasta car thirds. You're uh, you're quite the planner. Today is this is this is the problem though. Like yeah, I'm sorry, I was telling how anxious I've been about this trip. Yeah, there's been a couple nights where I lose sleep, particularly thinking about food for some reason. And 
He's like, man, you shouldn't be scared. I'm like, I'm not scared. I'm anxious. Right. It's like, you're scared. And I'm like, you know what? It, it, and it, it, kicked, it occurred to me is because, like, I'm a planner, an emergency planner, no less. Right. Like, like I, that's literally I, what you do. I do not, I do not like having at least thought through contingencies to excruciating detail. And this is one of those trips where the excruciating details can be important. They pay off, right? What do you got on me? Chili. I only have three dehydrated meals. So, well, yeah. So I have chili, beefy beans, and red beans. Mm -hmm.